What's up YouTube, welcome back, Old RPG Gamer here, you're watching Old RPG Gaming's walkthrough of the Digimon world. Right then guys, Factorial Town today. If you remember right, we got in here last episode, right at the end, had to wait, trying to stay awake, keeping this poor guy up. I mean he's an old guy now, but he's a good, he's a good Digimon. HP chip again. I mean, I'm all for getting these wonderful um, chips, but how many HP chips have we picked up in these last couple of episodes? We're holding two right now. I'm pretty sure there's like three in the bank, so. Ah. Give us some other chips. We're gonna have a HP heavy Digimon. Okay, so there's. Probably some guy waiting to pounce right here. Yeah, Gardramon. And that was unavoidable. But we're gonna kick his ass. Oh, what the hell that was? I'm just gonna cut. Like, try and fill up as much as I can his bars right now because just around the corner here we have a fight with a very powerful ultimate Digimon. He's got some real strong moves. Can we squeeze one of those in? Yeah, just about. Now, I don't want to say anything, because I don't want to jinx it. No! No! I swear on my... God damn it! I was just about to say he better not die before we finish this place. I don't believe it! Poor guy. Rest in peace, Kai the Greymon. Right then guys, this is why I've been banging on about trying to get some input from you. Kai's faded away, he'll keep his abilities, but this right here is what I wanted you I wanted your input guys, I wanted you to be a part of this. I have zero comments, I have no idea what you want to see. Um, I'm pretty sure this one right here, white and green, that will give us an Agumon. So, it's got to be one of these. Unless you want to see this again. It's got to be one of these if we want something new. I don't know what to do, guys. Just started the episode as well, so it's not as if... Ah. I don't know. Let's go for... Okay, let's go for the blue and white stripe egg. Sorry guys, I've been trying so hard to get somebody to, you know, pop up. We'll just have to go with my decision. Which sucks because it's all about you guys. So Kai's faded away. Another thing I wanted you guys for is to give me a name for the Digimon, but we'll give him a new name. Let's call him. I don't know. I don't even know what he goes into, so we can't base it on what Digimon we think we're gonna get. We'll call him Leo. Let's see what happened right there. We're back to the start. We're all we're starting out, guys. Bubble. I mean, we keep spinning shot, but we don't know if we're going to be able to use that yet. The only indication I can take is if you look at his special type, it is a thunderbolt, which is the same as this one right here. Thunderbolt, I think it's air, 
So maybe we'll get that kind of, I don't know. This is really throwing me off on what, what I wanted to do today for you. So I'm guessing Factorial Town's kind of going to have to wait. Well, you know what that means, guys. We are now going to be focusing... We're now going to be focusing on raising this guy. So this is Vegemon's upgraded version. We now have Sirloin Meat. But we don't have a Digimon that is even near capable of holding that much. He'll just shit it straight out, I'm sure. It's like feeding a toddler a cow. We're gonna get rid of these for a minute. Can't believe that. Really, really not a good thing. I knew it was gonna happen at some point, but I was hoping we could get Machine Town, Factorial Town, whatever. I was hoping we could have got that done first, but... Oh well, life goes on, guys, hey. So we're just going to concentrate on training this guy then, our new, our new little Digimon, Leo. It doesn't take long to, uh... It doesn't take long at all for these guys to Digivolve at the first two stages. It's just simply a case of start working on the stats, feed him, you're not going to see much different, not much change in what we have to work with. I mean, we can affect a, a, few, a few things, like his weight. We're quite high on the offense, thanks to Kai having a high offense stat, it's passed on as a percentage depending on your tamer level. I haven't seen anything pop up to say that we've uh, gone up from a basic tamer level at all yet. Maybe we'll get that through raising this guy. You can raise your tamer level from raising good Digimon. I'm pretty sure. So we're on the second one we've raised, but yeah, our level is still zero. But a good chunk of, well, a good percentage I should say, was passed on from Kai to this guy. So there you go. He's had a shit, he's hungry, and he's tired all within the like last 30 seconds. When they're this young, these Digimon are just on like hyper mode. They race through everything they want, everything they need. It all comes real quick. And before you know it, they will be Digivolving. has really thrown me off what I was going to do for you guys today. Um, clearly we can't take Punamon, we can't take Leo to go and fight off Factorial Town because, I mean come on, Bubble, it sounds about as intimidating as a pigeon. So we're just going to try and even out some of the stats that we have. Like I said guys, he's not gonna, he'll be digivolving like pretty much any minute now. There we go, he's digivolving already. There's only one Digimon that the baby Digimon can digivolve to, and that's the set in training Digimon from their chain of, like their, their tree. God, that noise is so annoying. Nice. So we've got a guy with a, a spike on his head. Okay, what's your name? Asunamon. Is that right? Sunamon? Did his stats change? No. Okay, well, we'll just focus on speed and brains then for now. It's pretty much the same as exactly what we've just done. We're just evening out the stats. And this guy, again, will digivolve. 
in it, probably a couple of minutes from this point in the video. He'll do you one again. You need to take a shit? Hey, I wonder if the virus meter reset. Nah, it's still there. We have our other two lives back though, we got three lives again. <laughs> I'm giggling already, on this. let's see what this guy does. <laughs> nice high pitch there. I mean, it'd be unfair to comment that how unhygienic he is, saying that he didn't wipe. He doesn't even have arms, he can't wipe. A little bit more brain. I think it's actually harder to exhaust a baby Digimon than a rookie Digimon, the uh, next stage. Because by the time you've done enough training to exhaust these guys, they're tired anyway. Before you exhaust them. Like, everything happens real quick. We're getting his weight up quite quickly. He's only 10 weight already. You don't need nothing? Okay. But, I try and take positives from everything that happens. In the gameplay, anyway, and uh, I'm pretty sure this Digimon's going to be a completely different type. I mean, look at his two special abilities. You got air and water. Is that? I'm guessing it's water. Ice, air and ice. So that's that's a completely different Digimon from Greymon already. Let's go to sleep. They they don't really sleep. They only pass a couple of hours at this stage. Should call it a nap. There you go. We're still on the same day from when we hatched the egg, so we haven't really progressed much time in the game. Just working on getting this guy then to his rookie form, see what we come out with. There is a couple. If we take this guy to where we recruited the Kumon, the little caterpillar Digimon, and we get him to sleep there, there's a 50% chance. When he wakes up, he'll become a a Kumon. Now, while you might be thinking, oh, why the hell would you want a Kumon? Is it like what's a caterpillar? That's no good. Kumon is the easiest Digimon to evolve to Kabuterimon. Kabuterimon is one of the Digimon I do remember from the TV show. I remember him from the game as well. Big ass beetle Digimon. He's very strong. He can use the moves like Megalo Spark and he can use a spinning shot, which you know how much I love. <laughs> but we'll keep it we'll keep it in the unknown. We'll see what he comes out with. We won't go for a Kumon, we we'll just see what this guy wants to be. Feels like we're right back in episode 1. This is like pre-episode 1 standard of Digimon. We're, we're not even a rookie Digimon yet. So there'll be no fighting, there'll be no exploring. Which sucks. I know you guys love exploring Fire Island. This is it, this is pretty much what we've got. What we've got to do. Try and keep evenly raising the stats. There you go, he's tired again. It's been like a couple of hours. I'm gonna feed him a sirloin. Babies sleep better when they're full. Or so I've heard. Oh, he enjoyed it. He actually. You like that big meat. Okay, well, today was completely unplanned, guys. Like I said, I had no idea. 
I said I had no idea. We knew it was going to happen, and I've been going on about it for ages, but I didn't know it was going to happen right as I planned to do Factorial Town. But because of what has happened, as soon as this guy digivolves to his rookie form, I'll cut this one short, and I'll start a fresh episode for you guys, where we'll focus on getting whichever rookie we end up with, focus on getting him to a strong champion. Make a decision on that as soon as we know which one that we're going to end up with. Shouldn't be too long now. I'm pretty sure he'll evolve. He'll evolve? No, not evolve. He'll digivolve before the end of this day. I don't know what the runtime is on this episode. You know how disorganized I am, guys, but. It doesn't feel like we've done a lot. Okay, so we start the loop again. I mean, just a couple more days with Kai, and I'm pretty sure we could have been at the boss at the final stage. I'm pretty sure you recruit those couple of Digimon from the Factorial Town, and they're big scoring points, you know, they're ultimate Digimon. So you score big for those. I'm not quite sure what our prosperity is. We're going to have a chat next time he needs a shit or something. But yeah, you only need 50. And we were at 35 before, before we set out. So, we got to be close. Uh, here we go, he's digivolving. So this is pretty much the end of this episode, guys. Sorry, I don't have a crystal ball. I didn't know, I didn't know the exact time that Kai was going to go, so... Kind of unfortunate. It would have been better if it happened right at the end of an episode, but... Oh well. Let's see what we come up with this, guys. What have we got? What are we working with? An Alecmon. Okay. Something a little bit different. Let's take a quick look at his stats. So this is our new Digimon. He doesn't seem anything special. Fighting and thunder. Can he use the spinning shot? No. He can use the dynamite kick and he has a static electric move but... Uh, I guess it's all part of the game. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we'll be raising this guy, trying to hit a champion Digimon. If you liked any of this, or just for the life of our previous Digimon Kai, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll be back, guys. Till next time.